you're pregnant, and may be feeling all sorts of emotions and have many questions. This video series provides some basic information about prenatal genetic testing to help you make decisions based on what matters most to you. Most people are born with 23 pairs of chromosomes, totaling 46 chromosomes. The first 22 pairs are called autosomes. They are the same in males and females and are numbered from 1 to 22. The 23rd pair of chromosomes are the sex chromosomes. Females usually have two copies of the X chromosome and males usually have one X and one Y chromosome. Some common chromosomal conditions are caused by having an extra or missing chromosome. It is possible to find out about some chromosomal conditions before your baby is born. The results of testing may help you and your family plan, prepare and discuss options for pregnancy management with your healthcare provider. NIPT, or non-invasive prenatal testing, also known as cell-free DNA testing, is a safe and accurate chromosomal screening test that is available as early as 10 weeks during pregnancy. NIPT can identify the most common chromosomal conditions. Trisomy 21, also known as Down syndrome, as well as Edwards syndrome, known as trisomy 18, and Patau syndrome, known as trisomy 13. In some countries, laboratories offer an NIPT that can screen for additional chromosomal conditions. When these conditions involve chromosomes X or Y, this is referred to as a sex chromosome aneuploidy. When these conditions involve chromosomes other than 21, 18, 13, X or Y, this is referred to as rare autosomal aneuploidy. In addition, some laboratories offer an NIPT that can screen for conditions caused by pieces of chromosomes that are duplicated or deleted. If the NIPT shows an increased chance of a less common chromosomal condition, there may be an increased chance of pregnancy complications, pregnancy loss, health problems or learning difficulties. There is a chance the NIPT result could be a false positive and the condition is not truly present. Diagnostic testing should be offered after a positive NIPT result and prior to making pregnancy management decisions. Discuss options to expand NIPT to include additional non-common conditions with your healthcare provider. You may choose to have testing during your pregnancy or you may decline all testing options. In case you still have questions, speak with your healthcare provider about what matters most to you.